Welcome back to DXB Today, where we are continuing our deep dive into all things networking and the changing face of networking. Joining us now, a man who knows a thing or two about networking, setting up all sort of networks uh, and doing it in a unique manner as well. The Executive Director of Business Network International, the B to the N to the I, is of course uh, Satyan Bablu, who's joining us live. Satyan, thanks so much indeed for being with us. Pleasure is all mine. Um, uh, why, how does BNI differentiate itself from other networking groups? Fantastic. So BNI teaches you the art of relationship building. So networking is all about the relationships you build. Uh, have you guys gone to an event where you've met 20 people and then gone back and said, what do I do now? Mm. Every night? Yes. Every night, fantastic. <laughs> so what BNI is doing is it's giving you an opportunity to meet regularly. So consistency is something we focus on. We meet every week, the same people come in, 50, 80, 100 people, and you're meeting them every week. When you meet week on week, you build a relationship. Mm. You get to know them better at a much deeper level. Mm. And then the urge comes out to want to help them. Yeah. So we believe strongly in the philosophy of givers gain. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned it earlier as well. When you give something to someone, by default, they want to help you back. Mm -hmm. And that's how BNI is different. It's the world's largest relationship-based referral organization. Yeah, I, I love that because you know a term that is used in business so much is don't take it personally. But relationships in business are personal. I, I'm a strong believer in that. So how does that relationship in business transfer to a personal relationship? Oh, fantastic. Uh, when you spend ample time in BNI, you realize that your best friends become members from BNI. Your suppliers become, well, this opportunity yes. has come through BNI. Yeah. So you, you learn to know them better. Mm. And then because they know you better, they go outside your just business circle and try and help you in multiple ways. You know, your kids want admission in some school, someone knows the principal over there, right? You're looking at investing in a particular real estate opportunity, someone knows the director over there. So it's not just limited to business if you go to that level and you build those kind of relationships. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole concept of BNI, you go and build relationships. Yeah. From, a, from an ROI perspective, because I get this question asked all the time and it's really difficult, but can you give us some examples without naming names of some really good case studies through the BNI? Oh, wow. Uh, so we have a term called thank you for closed business in BNI, which means if you give me a referral and that converts to an opportunity, I want to come and say thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. We've heard thank yous for like tens of billions. We've heard thank yous for thousands, for 100,000, for millions, for double digit millions. Uh, the largest thank you that I've heard in, in my nine years in BNI was 40 million dirhams. Mm -hmm. So nice. people came to BNI, they met and somebody liked someone, they gave them a referral and that person closed the deal for about 40 million dirhams. So in terms of ROI, it's unimaginable. Mm -hmm. We talked about them networking at BNI, but how can people apply or uh, join the network? Fantastic. So the, the whole concept of BNI is building relationship. And what we love doing is being loyal to our members, which means we have a concept of one person per category. So if somebody is a baker and they join a BNI chapter, no other baker can join the BNI chapter which means 50 people are loyal to this baker. The minute I hear bakery, I think of them, I give them a couple of referrals. Because of that, we're constantly expanding and opening new chapters because we have multiple bakers who want to join. So we're constantly expanding in the new Dubai region, which is uh, upwards of Mall of the Emirates. We're launching new chapters. You can reach out to the BNI website, bninewdubai.ae, and you can put an application over there, and there's a whole process that you happens. Have got any TV presenters in there yet? Or not? <laughs> uh, Dave Crane? was one of our oh, right, Dave's got oh, he's members. Of right. well. Yeah, he's a part of, he was, he was Dave, one of our members. Dave's taken it already. Yeah. <laughs> we need Except to get the in way. there, Tom, yeah. we do. And you know, one thing that's interesting is your Hotline 800 referral. Could you, yes. t could you actually break that down for us and tell us more about it? Fantastic. So because we're a referral-based organization, we want to give referrals. 800 referrals is an opportunity where you can call and say, hey, if something's wrong with my business, I'm looking for a coach. Great, we have seven coaches in BNI let me put you in touch. We're generating opportunities for our members actively. Mm -hmm. uh, something's wrong with my apartment, I'm looking for a real estate guy. Great, let me put you in touch with these five people. So the whole idea is we want to create opportunity for our members actively. We just don't need them and say, you know what, get to know each other and get some referrals from each other. Mm. We want to be involved in the process as well. So that's the whole concept of this hotline. So here's one for, for both you and Katie as well. And, and, and having this sort of wider conversation reminds me of the old adage of it's not what you know is who you know. And there's an element of that in both, of, in both the sort of organisation we're talking about here. And yet we're living in a very sort of digital economy at the moment. Um, we are living in a place where you can literally get everything online. Why? this face-to-face, -face. why the sort of personal is so important still to this day? 
you only do business with people you like. Would you ever pay money to someone you don't like? Most likely, no. Yeah. Right? How do you get to like them? Trying to like someone through a digital screen is quite difficult and complicated. So when you meet people, you instantly feel a vibe. You want to connect with them. You want to get to know them better. You want them to know you better. So physical interaction, and correct me if you agree as well, uh, creates a massive bond because it's not just now about what you're saying. It's about how you're saying. Mm. Mm. More importantly, uh, you might know everything, but people don't care about how much you know till they don't know how much you care. Mm. Mm. So it's all about being there and giving, being present, giving them your attention, and that translates much faster into a stronger relationship. Do you concur, Dr. Holmes? I've been wanting to do that all day. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting. Absolutely, yeah, and we see it. We have so many friendships come from, from the British Business Group as well. Some, some of our founding chairmen um, still come along to our events. Um, today and uh, yeah that face to face also so much of your of um, when you're talking to somebody and you know we've still got PTSD from zooms and you're on mute and things like that but to actually stand opposite somebody or sit opposite somebody and have that physical relationship it's exactly the same with the BBG you can see it's a huge benefit mm. to, to people yeah right well Satin I want to thank you so much for joining us and thank you for sharing more of an insight on BNI we'll thank see you, you very the pleasure soon has been all mine. thank Absolutely. you thank you now, today's spotlight is on a company that helps startups raise funds and also educates them about financial literacy. So, let's take a look. I'm Coyote Odele. I'm founder and CEO of Sina. Sina is a financial literacy and fundraising automation platform I run out of here, Dubai, and London. So many founders and small business owners fail because they don't know how finance works. The fundraising process is also very complex, and it is these two problems that we're trying to solve with technology. So it's the responsibility of um, paying staff, making sure they are happy, I'm growing the company, I'm pitching at events like this, and I still keep it a family. It's what makes um, running a business very challenging, but also one of the best jobs in the world. So if we do our jobs very well, we can be one of those companies that grows out of Dubai to be a global champion. Uh, it can be a multi-million, it can be a multi-billion dollar business um, that we see that potential. What we focus on today, being alive, growing one day at a time, and making our customers happy. One, it's one of the most secure places in the world. It's one of the best cities for families. Um, it's, it has everything. The quality of life is very good. It's not so expensive. Um, and you have this ecosystem that is thriving, um, where we, you know, anyone you want to meet is just three um, level degrees of separation. I know the normal one is six, um, I think in Dubai, it's about three degrees of separation. Um, it's a combination of all those factors that made me move back here and make me very firmly believe that Dubai is one of the best places to build a business. I'll go running at the beach, then dive in water and have a swim, and um, yeah, maybe go uh, paddling out onto the ocean for um, a couple of hours, and then go home to sleep, and I'll be fine. Plenty for us to consider there. Great to see those sort of startup platforms being available in so many different industries. Right, oh, it's time now for the roundup. Uh, Nimi. Thank you so much, Tom. Uh, now, today we are talking about the art of think fluencing through LinkedIn and other social media platforms as well. This is where I mean, forget influencer, that's basic now. Thinkfluencers are individuals who are sharing their thoughts, analyzing topics, you know, hot topics around the world, political, pop culture, whatever it may be. Uh, Tom, I know you're still registering, so Ahmed and Katie. I have a couple of people on Instagram that I follow. There's a young Arab girl called uh, Hala Bassam, and she shares, she just sits down with a camera, and she's just sharing her thoughts on, and feelings on things happening. And I think it's great for the younger generation to see, right? That mm. there are, yes, there are influencers that are talking about fashion and beauty, but there are also people with 
thought-provoking ideas. It's, it's really important for the next generation to, to see that, isn't that, Katie? No, I 100% agree. Um, mm -hmm. I think it can be overused sometimes, but just in the same way there's multiple opportunities for networking, there's opportunities for think fluencing, and you, you attach yourself to someone that has similar similar beliefs. So I'm sure there's somebody, something for everybody out there. Yeah. To that end, I mean, and um, I like that, what was the one that I heard the other day, link linkfluencer, mm. uh, because that's the, <laughs> LinkedIn obviously coming into its own as well and people are able to explain a bit more and uh, a few more um, words and bits and pieces and things like mm. that but it's a more sort of thought out pro a bit grown wrapper can I say that yeah that word? I don't know what it is <laughs> but the idea of linking different ideas as well that's something that you and the council are doing at the moment as well isn't it with the into council thinking? Yes, so we, we're the British business group, but there are also business councils um, for all nationalities across Dubai and um, in Abu Dhabi as well. Yeah. So quarterly, uh, uh, the British business group um, and, and others, we sort of take it in turns, will host an event. So we held an event two weeks ago at the gorgeous Atlantis the Royale. Mm. We had 500 members, collective members, represented by 25 business councils and it, it's not just, uh, I mean, it sounds overwhelming, but there's a lot of thought that goes behind it to make sure that even the most nervous of people can come into that room of 500 people and see their national flag, for example, and they can go over and have the welcome there. And then within that, we also had cocktail tables with boards that said, I'm here because I'm looking for, or I can provide human resources, for example, mm. so that you actually get the kindred spirits I mentioned before kind of gravitating towards each other. Um, and then having really good conversations. Linking it all together. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought that I would know what table. Think Fluencer is, I know, yeah. honestly. But let's see what we have next in the episode. Khaled Syed uh, went down to the Club Lab Golf. And plus an amazing performance that we're going to have right after the break.